Hey guys, it's Diana, Rainbow Moon Healing. I have a special book for you guys. I am going to put this both up on my um, my channel, Rainbow Moon Healing, and also on the Sears Journey channel. Because this is the Fortune Teller's Bible by Jane Struthers. Okay. And it is a book of different of different divination practices which is why I'm putting it also putting it up on the Sears Journey channel we have in here a, a little bit of astrology a little bit of Chinese astrology which actually has to do with the, like the you know year of the tiger year of the ox whatever um, that's the stuff that you were born under in Chinese astrology um, we have a little bit of numerology in here. We have a little bit of tarot. We have um, a little bit of palm reading. Yeah, guys, hang on. Um, yeah, a little bit of palm reading. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, the I Ching and how that works. The I Ching are the little um, coins, you know, here. This is the section that when I read I Ching that I, um, when I read the I Ching that I use this little um, list to go off of. Um, let's see what else. These are the, the I Ching is ringing the, is making up and reading the hexagrams. Let's see. Um, oh, come on. Oh, a little bit of runes, R U N E S, which are the, the Celtic or, uh, I'm sorry, the Viking people. Okay. Um, let's see. So, and just to give you a click, those are runes. For those who don't know, gives you both the upright and the inverted positions. Also, I believe the tarot card that does it is too. I'm not sure. <clears throat> then something called face reading, which face reading, which. Uh, Uh, it's the shape of the face and, and the shape of the eyes and the, the shape of the head itself and the nose and the mouth and all that. And then we have scrying practices here, scrying, scrying either in a bowl of water or a crystal bowl or um, scrying with a mirror. Um, come on. <coughs> And then we are into what's called folk arts, which is, you know, into the folk arts, which is, for example, reading tea leaves. I suggest you two quick, please. It's like someone took a key in the cats this morning and start wound them up. Anyway, so like if we have reading tea leaves. Okay how to do it with the cups and all that. Um, the meaning of flowers. Um, superstitions and traditions. Um, the wedding ring on a string type of thing to determine what, you know, um, what the sex of the babies of a baby is going to be. Um, let's see, dice, dominoes, I think. Yeah, um, scrying by, you know, that way. And also something called seromancy, which is wax in water. When the wax hits the water, it, um, when the, um, you light a candle, you know, blow it out, and then you put the wax in a bowl of water, and it's, so it's supposed to make shapes, so shapes are supposed to be, um, 
those shapes are supposed to be, you know, supposed to mean something. Candles also, how they how they burn things of that nature. Your dreams, you know, how to uh, interpret your dreams. Um, the end, and that's about it. So, but this is a really good kind of basic guide to, you know, if you don't know. And the reason why I bought this is because, well, <clears throat> okay, I could read cards and oracle cards and uh, tarot cards and oracle cards, and I knew a little bit about some divination work, but I wanted them basically for the I Ching and <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> for the I Ching and for um, the numerology in here and for um, something else caught my eye. Oh, the tea leaves. And so that's the reason why I bought this. And, um, but it's turned out to be pretty, you know, informational and whatnot. So this is a great little book for, um, you know, a beginner or if you don't know what your what your specialty is, so to speak, or what you're really attracted to, this gives you a variety of different things that you can check out. The book is fourteen ninety five U.S. <clears throat> seventeen ninety five Canadian. So, um, and again, that is the fourteen colors Bible by Jane Struthers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.